attention. <laughs> Help me welcome the 29th generation of off-off campus! Another exciting night of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? As always, I'm your host, Rip Garfield! Yeah. You guys ready to meet tonight's contestant and our potential millionaire? Well, put your hands together for Eleonora! Hi there, Rip! Real happy to be here! Real happy! Happy Eleonora. Now it says here that you are 24 years old and you hail from. Oh, this is just a picture of a river? <laughs> Rip, that's right. Some of the locals have taken to calling it a creek, but now's not the time nor place for that debate. <laughs> but they're wrong. It's a river. Anyway, Rip, let's spin that wheel. <laughs> what a breath of fresh air you are, Eleonora, but no wheel here. Uh, well, surely you know how this game works. Yes. Yes, I do. Uh, but perhaps you could explain the rules uh, to people who might not know. Not like me, but my friend. Your friend? Yes, my friend back home. She's watching on TV in the river. Her name is... Eleonora also. <laughs> okay, well how it's gonna work is we're gonna ask you a few questions. For every one you get right, you're gonna get a little bit more money, potentially earning up to a cool million dollars. But don't get any wrong or you're out of here. <laughs> we're gonna give you a few lifelines though to help you along. One's gonna be a phone a friend option, and the other is something we call 50-50 where we'll eliminate half the answers for you. Okay. I, I just have one last question before we begin, right. and I think it's the question on everyone's mind. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> well, I guess that's just the million dollar question, isn't it? <laughs> it is? No. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't know what the million dollar question is, but I would assume it's not that. <laughs> but if that were the question, what would the answer be? <laughs> well, I mean, you're here and this is who wants to be a millionaire, so I guess the answer would be you. <laughs> but enough of this uh, phenomenal banter. <laughs> Are you ready to jump right into the game? Like into a river? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Alright, here's your first question. What was the first movie ever released by Walt Disney Studios? Was it A, Cinderella? B, Snow White. C, Snow Yellow. <laughs> I wrote that one. <laughs> or D, Santa Claus 3, The Escape Class. <laughs> you have one minute. Uh, I think I remember this. Uh... Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to work we go. Hi ho, 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 hi ho. Seven dwarves, sound off. Duck, grumpy, happy, sleepy, bashful, sleazy, and I'm sexist. <laughs> while we come here in mine. Yeah, I mean, she's perfectly capable. We should bring her along tomorrow. Yeah! <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> evolutionarily speaking. <laughs> men evolved to be hunter-gatherers like ourselves, and women just evolved to stay at home and tend to the children. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, sexy. <laughs> Biology into this, like, you know, we don't believe 
in biology, that's fine. Sexist, you're being a pig right now. Guys, just ignore him. You're only adding fuel to the fire. Yeah, sure, just ignore me. Like you do evolution. <laughs> It looks like someone poisoned her with an apple! Well, I mean, look at what she's wearing. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. Can you expound on that, sexist? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if you're wearing something like that, what else do you expect? Come on! You victim-blaming scumbag! Hey, if someone dresses up as a princess, and an evil stepmother drugs her? Ha, that's on her, man. She should have been more careful. <gasps> you bastard! I'll bash no, you! Bash that's the bash! That's the bash! That's the bash! That's the bash! <laughs> sure! Use violence when confronted with an argument. How typical of the uneducated. <laughs> no, no, just ignore that piece of shit bashful. He's not right and we all know it. I'm sorry guys, I'm cool, I'm cool. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, you guys are right. It's not totally her fault. It's... Yeah. it's not. No, I mean, women's brains are just smaller than men's. <laughs> I'm a deep boy, bitch. I thought you knew, just like every motherfucker in the crew. Yeah, 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 I know, right. I know exactly what you're going through. I, I knew a guy whose aunt died last year, and that still haunts me. <laughs> Are you going to tell me you're sorry? <laughs> what? Are you going to tell me that you're sorry for my loss? My friend's aunt died. <laughs> George, my, my grandpa is here, dying. Yeah, and my friend's aunt died, and I'm not over it! <laughs> Uh, 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 say, that guy is an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Now why don't we move on to math? Today's lesson is going to be in maximums, minimums, and averages. So why don't we all line up from tallest to shortest? Oh, Jerry's the tallest! I don't know about that. Philip just hit a growth spurt. <laughs> Jerry, I'm 4'6", and you're 7'4", and literally a giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> I hate math. I wish you would die. It's stupid. Class. Why don't we go outside for free time? Go we'll go out and play. Never eat dirt! Yeah! <laughs> Jerry, what's wrong? Is everything alright at home? It's not that. Well, what is it? Usually you're one of my best students. Everyone's always making fun of me because I'm so tall and I have these velvety horns. <laughs> Everyone is different. We just have to learn to accept each other's differences and embrace each other. I mean, at the end of the day, everyone is special. Oh. What makes you special, Mrs. S? <laughs> well, I can only think in colors. <laughs> <laughs> does, it, does it hurt? <laughs> Immensely, yes. <laughs> engulfed in a great civil war. Ah, Benjamin 
fatigued Gordon could no longer stand idly by as brave men around me enlist. So I too have decided to fight the fight. It'll be hard leaving my beloved Molly, but I must do what is right for our nation. I met my platoon today. There's Bernard, a hardened man of battle, and Tobias, who doesn't look a day over 15. <laughs> And don't let me forget, oh, oh. Lyman Bellevue. Lyman did the most peculiar thing today. When he received his uniform, he proceeded to rub his testicles all over it. Oh, the man and I thought it was a great hoot. And I hope that Lyman Lyman's antics will be a source of light in dark times such as these. Benjamin T. Gordon, signing off. Bye, paper, for now. <laughs> Was it A, Harry Potter, B, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, C, Ferris Bueller's Day On, I wrote that one, or C, The Hunger Games. You have one minute. Uh, I think I know this one. <laughs> this week's book, The Hunger Games? I know I did. Yeah, me too. We all read the book. <laughs> Great, I'll get the tea. <gasps> I didn't read it! I didn't read it! Me! I had to cover! Guys, remember what happened last time she got mad? We still haven't found Chrissy's body! <laughs> Does anybody know anything about The Hunger Games? Uh, it's um, it's that, that, uh, that new one, right? Yeah, it, the girl! She has these visions! Of the future. She, she looks and she sees and what she the, hangs out with in a, in a high school yes. with Eddie and Chelsea. Yes. 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 Fate. Seconded. Alan? 
is a huge step in the right direction. But before we get started, I want to introduce myself. My name is Tyler. I study conflict resolution at Brandeis University. <laughs> so I've, I've got some strategies that I want to work uh, through with you guys, but before we get started, we need to put on our respectacles. <laughs> <laughs> Is that something that someone wearing respectacles would say? No. <laughs> Good. Now, Alexi, let's start with you. So, I want you to try and use an I statement to tell Serviot how you feel. Well, Serviot, I, I feel hurt when you call my people dirty swine. Good. Good. Now, Serviot, it's important that you show that you can empathize with Alexi on this. Do you think it feels good for your people to be called dirty swine? <laughs> no. <laughs> See? And now, Serbia, now it's your turn. I want you to try and use an I statement and try and tell Alexi how you feel. I? Good. I think? I think you are stupid! That is not a real I statement! Oh! Take a chill pill, guys. All right, we can we can resolve this now. Serbia, Alexi's right. That was not an I statement. I statements are what we use to say how we feel about other people's actions. We do not use them to hurt other people. All right. So, do you want to do you want to give it another try? I feel very sad. Good. When you mercilessly massacred my people. <laughs> All right, Alexi, can you remind us all of the golden rule? <laughs> I didn't quite catch that. Can you say that a little louder? Treat others the way you want to be treated. <laughs> now, Alexi, would you want to have your people mercilessly massacred? No. So, do you think you should be massacring Serbiat's people? Good, good. I really feel that we've learned something about each other today. Do you guys feel that way? And do you feel that you can coexist nicely now? Excellent. Now, let's wrap things up with a friendship hug. Awesome. I'll race you to the pool, Serbia! Okay. Hey, no running on the pool deck! <laughs> Bet. 
That's one small step for man, one large, um, uh, one large, uh, b big leap year, uh, on Moon Rock! Fuck Neil! Ah! <laughs> we told you not to go off script! We hired writers for a reason! Uh, I forgot my lines! God, it is a good thing we are not live! From the top! Uh. <laughs> Damn hole of yours. No way, Papa! You wouldn't let me watch Scooby Doo, so I'm digging my way to China. <laughs> <laughs> they don't got no Scooby Doo in China. <laughs> well, they also don't got you. <laughs> Come on, Rocky, that ain't fair. Your mind and I are worried about you. It ain't natural to spend so many months down a hole. <laughs> Must be that Chinese sun. <laughs> Rocky, that's the molten core of the earth. I taught you well enough to know at least that. Papa, I went through that long ago. I reckon I've gone through the mantle to the other side. Well, hell, Rocky, that sure is a lot of digging. Oh my god. I'm here. Scooby Dooby Doo. And Scooby's here too. <laughs> Rocky! You got a weird way of expressing yourself. <laughs> living in Maryville. It's like, we're clearly too big for one Chipotle. I mean, look at this line, but like, we're not big enough for two! <laughs> Trust me, Ted, I know. I was down at the outlet mall the other day. The Air Apostle keeps on hiking up prices on vests. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no American Eagles. <laughs> and ever since Spencer's gifts went out of business, there's no self-respecting place I can buy weed socks. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes capitalism is shit. <laughs> Start a punk band. <laughs> Let's do it. smelling of river water and garbage, well, uh, I didn't have the highest expectations. I don't think anyone did. We've had a few winners on this show before, but they've all been the, the snooty intellectual type, not river people like yourself. <laughs> but you've blown us all away with your performance, and uh, I just want to say that I think you've taught us all a little something here today. You've already won yourself $50,000 here, playing for a hundred, and you're a few questions away from the million. The crowd's rooting for you, the crew's rooting for you, and most importantly, I'm rooting for you. But, lest I get too sappy, let's move on to your next question. Okay. Here it is. Who was the first man to walk on the moon? Was it A, Lance Armstrong, <laughs> B, Louis Armstrong, <laughs> C, Neil Armstrong, <laughs> or D, Arm Armstrong? <laughs> You've got one minute. Ooh, Rick, this is really tough. I might lose it all. Um, <laughs> gee, I wish I knew more about the moon, but I'm just not very religious. <laughs> the moon is not a religious icon. 
Icon, it's a very real Skyrock. Mr. <laughs> Zealot over here. <laughs> well, you've got 30 seconds. Uh, I'm gonna phone a friend. Good thinking. Do you have anyone in mind? My mom. Great. We have her on the line. Hello? Mom! Put scrappers on! Okay. <laughs> suggests that you should, A, put up a hell of a fight, <laughs> B, hand over your wallet, C, invite them to a nice family-style dinner, <laughs> I wrote that one, <laughs> or D, scream and call 911. You've got one minute. So you flew across the country to mug me? Oh, 
geez, well, this is a weird way to meet, but Mom, this is my new girlfriend, Jen. Hi, Mrs. Johnson. <laughs> it's a really nice gun holder you've knitted for yourself. <laughs> Thank you, dear. It's a pearl stitch. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's all it is for later. Oh, no, Middle <laughs> Timothy Johnson, you hand over your wallet right now. Do it. You're supposed to do it. <laughs> Bigfoot. 
world. I am your host, Dr. Roger Templeton. Now, let's go find this beast. So, Bigfoot, <laughs> when do you think these feelings of inadequacy started for you? I don't know. Ever since I was a child, I had to hide from the outside world. And, you know, even even my parents, like I didn't, I could never be who I wanted to be. Isolation is the word that comes to mind. You know, people didn't get that all that was really wrong with me is I just have really big feet. That's all it is. <laughs> You know, Gary, you've been working in sanitation for what, 25 years now? I gotta ask you, why do you keep doing it? You just like trash or something? <laughs> what? What kind of freak likes trash? You gotta show some respect to your elders, Todd. Hey, I I'm sorry, Gary, I didn't mean any offense by it, I was just curious. <laughs> Listen, Todd, if you really want to know, I'll let you in on the secret. What secret? The secret! The reason I've been a trash man all these years! Hell, Gary, you gotta tell me! Trash-topia! <laughs> what? <laughs> Why tell you about it, kid, when I can show you? Follow me! <laughs> Isn't it beautiful, kid? Trash, as far as the eye can see! And it's all ours! Jeez, Gary, this place reeks! I think you kind of oversold it. Suit yourself, kid! More for me! <laughs> but if you leave now, you'll miss the real magic! <laughs> magic? Gary, this is just trash as far as the eye can see. What do I always say at work, Todd? Uh, I'm not masturbating, I'm scratching. The other thing! <laughs>
I really am so lucky to have a support system like you. Oh, visiting hours are over. Only Tina's closest friends can stay here now. So, you'll have to go. Sorry. Let's go, girls. <laughs> oh, I'm alright. I need to go. There's an invitation to my birthday party. I hope you can come. You know, unless you're too busy taking care of Tina. Uh-huh. Maybe you can bring her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll try and come. <laughs> oh my god. B. 
be. Is that your final answer? Yes. No, Elnora, let me just say congratulations because you just won one million dollars! shows this quarter. Also, we have two more shows next week and eighth week. Um, and um, stick around afterward. We've got a great afterglow. Uh, it's improv with Kevin and Peter. We have been the 29th generation of off campus. Individually, we've been Graham. I was about mm, 16 years old. <laughs>